Uh, today is World Toilet Day. I believe that um, you should be in the know by now. It is celebrated on the 19th of November uh, every year to engender action in tackling the global sanitation crisis and help achieve sustainable development goal. That's the SDG Goal 6, which promises sanitation for all by 2030. Established by the World Toilet Organization in 2001, the World Toilet Day was made an official United Nations Day uh, in 2013. UN Water leads a task force of international agencies to campaign around a common theme. This year's theme is leading no one, leaving no one behind. A toilet is not just a toilet, it's a lifesaver, dignity um, protector and opportunity maker. However, you are... Uh, where, whoever you are, wherever you are, sanitation is your human right. And uh, it clearly tells us the importance of us recognizing the importance of toilets, not just the facility, but at least the, the doctors will tell you that it is very important that at least once every day you free your bowels or you visit the toilet or try to get some medical attention regarding that. And at the launch, one of my colleagues uh, who sat through that will be joining us shortly. And, uh, we, you know, I, here at Media General, we've been campaigning sanitation issues. We've been pushing that agenda. And this is one that we'll be uh, keeping a close eye on. Some statistics we have we'll be bringing to you shortly. But let's go to the phone line now and speak to Josephine um, Frimpong, who has been sitting through the launch of the World um, Toilet Day here in Accra. Josephine, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, Martin. Yes, what can you report regarding the launch of the World Toilet Day today? We, we know that it is a day set aside by the UN, but here in Ghana, how are we marking it? Hi, Martin. Uh, today, the Ministry of Water and Sanitation uh, signaled out Greater Accra and took a team of sanitation experts and other stakeholders in the industry to La Dade Kotopon, where they mark the, the global toilet day. And with the mark, marking of the day, we visited about 20 households and then institutional public toilets, which uh, the government has constructed new public toilet facilities for the homes. And mm. we visited one of the areas in La Dade Kotopon, where they had a serious problem with open defecation. Mm. That, was, that was 2018 where they recorded several cases of corona. But now the situation has changed and the minister really lauded the assembly for the massive improvement that they have done so far to ensure that we are not having the same problem this year. And by the end of uh, 2020, the Gamma project, which is funded by World Bank, uh, will end, and we are looking at that. The whole nation, 16 regions, will be having about 500 toilet facilities here uh, in the country. Right. And um, the areas where you're saying government has built new toilet facilities for, uh, how are the people responding? Are they stuck to their old ways of open defecation or they are, uh, you, know, you know, mindful to use the new facilities that have been, you know, put together for them? Well, for now, the people with the area we visited, the people were very happy because they, they quite remember they used to spend so much money going to health facilities around, uh, uh, if, for instance, trade fair area there where we have the beaches there. But now that the facility is available, it has cut all those ones out. And mm. then also they used to have public facilities where they used to pay and attend to the nature's call. But now... All those ones have also been closed down. The ones which have been built by the Gamma project by government is quite new. It's a full toilet seat facility. Okay. Now, what the people people are looking out for is for the people to really take care of the facilities very well so that it can really keep long for them to use, Martin. Right. Thank you so much uh, for that update as Ghana joins the rest of the world to mark World Toilet Day, which falls on the 19th of November every year. Uh, clearly, the concern of open defecation has been on the lips of many. We need to ban it. 